hi everyone welcome to another week in review happy saturday to you all so i'm just gonna get into it it's not gonna be a long live tonight because it's saturday and it's just the weekend so i'm just trying to keep it short and mute so if you missed this live you can watch the replay on instagram or see the video uploaded and then some clips on instagram and what is it no on twitter and tiktok so here we go so according to the world health organization who there are 762 million 791 thousand 152 confirmed cases of covid 19 around around the world there are 6,897,025 cumulative deaths. As for the daily tracker in the United States of America from the CDC, there are 104,348,746 confirmed cases of COVID-19. There are 1,128,404 cumulative deaths and there are 11,279 people currently hospitalized in the across the country with COVID-19. In terms of total vaccination for the country before I repeat all these numbers. According to usfacts.org, there are 230,418,632 no, people fully vaccinated. As for people that have received their first dose, it's 81% of the country. So, yeah, we're still at the 70% percentile so just to recap all the numbers for COVID it's a lot of numbers and you can look this up for WHO regarding global confirmed cases of COVID-19 there are 762 million 762 million 791,152 cases confirmed cases around the world there are seven no there are almost seven million people dead from this virus across the country but the total number is 6,897,025. According to the United States numbers, there are 104,348,746 confirmed cases of COVID-19. There are nearly 1.2 million people dead. There's currently 11,000 people still in the hospital. And as for the nation being vaccinated against COVID-19, there's 70% fully vaccinated, while 81% received their first dose only. So with all of this being said, COVID is still here. It's not going away. And so we just need to reckon with the truth. Like, it's not going away. It's still here. Even though we still have a national strategy, but COVID is still around. So the best way you can protect yourself is get vaccinated and still wear your mask and try to practice social distancing even though people are still are vaccinated but that's the best way to go right yeah as for um the tennessee three there's information on that per se i believe they were reinstated those guys were reinstated justin pearson and justin jones were um, reinstated to the Tennessee um, Assembly, State Assembly, which is the legislative um, branch, the lower chamber, because they're representatives. And they were reinstated as of this week. But, you know, as I said, um, 
this was racism at its full display it was racism at the highest level uh you know the gop state legislator in tennessee is completely maga just like some of these other ones in the midwest in the south and even you know out southern west you know are completely maga they believe in the maga you know mantra of just being against everything that democrats is for instead of like coming to a common ground like that's why like i go off on when i say like um yeah the, the gop was never from as long as i've been alive was never for progress i don't care how many people want to sum it up it's not and we can see like now the gop has morphed into this white supremacist white domestic terrorist sympathizing party because that's what they turn into the GOP is not the Reagan GOP. And was the Reagan GOP nice? No, not really, no. Because they gave a platform for MAGA for today. It's the truth. But I'm glad those young men are reinstated and they're gonna to continue to keep doing the work. They're gonna keep fighting for what they are fighting for because they come from an activist era. So of course they're gonna protest and they're gonna protest peacefully and it's still gonna happen. So they just need to get over it. And since we're talking about the GOP, I want to, before I get into this topic, I just want to say the GOP is in a disarray. I mean, Donald Trump is an embarrassment to the GOP itself in terms of, you know, him having all these legal woes from being indicted by the Manhattan um, DA to now have to be disposed for 10 hours or eight or 10 hours by the New York Attorney General. And there's more cases coming up. There's the one in um, DC by the special counsel appointed by AG Garland. There is Georgia with the Fulton County DA. And then there is uh, the judge in Florida. So Donald Trump is basically screwed, but it's looking bad for Republicans because he still has that support. And how many Republicans are still coming out to, you know, run for president? You had Nikki Haley, possibly um, uh, Ron DeSantis, and then you have uh, Tim Scott, who just recently launched his campaign, and then a possible Michael Richard Pence, his um former vp to this press to the president right so the gop is in a disarray they're trying to run a, or oh asa hutchison keep forgetting him he's really irrelevant right at this point he is um running for president jesus christ he's just they're all extreme no matter how you want to put it just because they're smart and clean up their words more than the bum himself these people are still extremists. Nikki Haley's an extremist. Tim Scott is an extremist. We know Ron DeSantis is an, an extremist. Asa Hutchison is an extremist. Let's see. Um, Chris Sununu is an extremist. Michael Pence is an extremist. They all extremists. Adam Kissinger and Elizabeth Cheney, they're all extremists. Just because they don't say the racist shit out loud doesn't mean they vote for the racist shit always remember that and tim scott is the black republican you would think he would be the voice of reason he's the reason why the george uh floyd justice and policing act was dead on arrival and still stole in the senate because he just want to be against everything he wants to stand out well you stand out for that messing that up so how does that look he's really trying to run for vice president which you know He's like a pick me dude. Like you're not going to get picked. You're not going to get picked. Tim Scott is not going to get picked. Tim Scott is still going to be in the goddamn Senate. Nikki Haley would get picked before him. He's not going to get picked. And even with Nikki Haley, I will watch out for that one because she's sneaky. And she's just as extreme. She's a tea partier. She was going to support Mark Mark, uh, Marco Rubio for president back in 2016 and he's extreme so there you have it and speaking now we could get to the topic speaking of 
the Democrats versus Republicans. We know Democrats are for, you know, securing, you know, our health care, just the expanding, excuse me, expanding our health care. Recently, just this past week, the president just, I think, had an EO expanding health care to DACA recipients because they didn't have no health care. Let's see what else, you know, lowering the cost of prescription drugs, you know, enforcing the Infrastructure Jobs Act, passing the ARP, American Rescue Plan, you know, committing to Black Maternal Health Week and Black Maternal Health in general. I mean, there's a laundry list. There's a, there's, there's, there's a laundry list of things that are going on that the Democrats are actually doing. Also, um, Mayor Garland just put no-knock warrants, also providing more racial equity. So this is what the Democrats are doing versus Republicans is going against everything that Democrats are doing. They want to have, you know, parents' rights bills to not teach you the real history in school. They also want to cut Medicare and Social Security, which most of their constituents get those benefits. They want to cut military spending as if it was the party of law enforcement. They're actually defunding the police because none of them voted for the American Rescue Plan, which money went to the police departments across the country, including here in New York City. So I know what party I'm voting for because the party that I'm voting for is going to protect my rights as a woman. Well, excuse me, my rights as a black person, because I'm black first before I'm a woman. My rights as a black person, which includes my voting rights and my civil rights, and my rights to walk around here as a black person, my reproductive rights. Let's see. My health care. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I know that the Democratic Party is going to protect me versus the Republican Party is going to undo everything in progress that Democrats have worked hard for. And for those folks who are questioning, you know, whether they're going to vote for the Biden and Harris ticket in 2024, I think you want to rethink that thought again, because it's very clear they're going to run again. I mean, when Anna Navarro said what she said, you know, they're going to be the nominee. Stop the bullshit. Literally, stop it. Because at the end of it all, they're going to be the nominee. They're being backed by the DNC, the ZCC, all these other organizations. They're backed by Democrats. Even your progressive faves, they're backed by them. So Marianne Williamson and, you know, RFK Jr., if you think that you're going to outshine this incumbent president and the incumbent vice president, you got another thing coming. And for the folks who think they're going to knock the vice president off the ticket to replace Liz Cheney, Liz Cheney made it very clear that she is not for this president's agenda. So why the hell would you want to have a Liz Cheney on the same ticket as Joe Biden? It's an oxymoron. But for the Tom Nichols of the world and the Bill Crystals of the world and uh what and what's his name? Miles Taylor's of the world, you guys are living in a dream world. No Democrats are gonna put a Republican on their ticket. The Republican Party today is not for progress. It's very clear. They're not. And they're not going to. They miss fighting with us on a civil basis, but they don't they 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 love the Trump policies. They just didn't like Trump, but they love the Trump policies. And that was very clear. That was very clear. So to all of those um never Trumpers and those who, you know, I need to and you know, to embrace because all Republicans are not bad. Well, the Republican Party has showed their hand today. And those same traditional Republicans have left the Republican Party for a particular reason. Because who wants to be associated with the Republican Party today? Kevin McCarthy and his party. 
who wants to be associated with the party that embraces white domestic terrorists and you know that sympathize with them and sympathize with you know just racist policies and extreme supreme court and the party that cheats who wants to you know be friends with that kind of party i know i don't does it make me a racist no not really it doesn't and speaking of things you know yes i post things you know stats and statistics not just to gloat and throw things in people's face but just to say the truth i mean if you really want to take back in history a lot of white people since 1968 has consistently voted for republicans in a higher number the only time they went a little high but not as high was during the clinton years and even that was not even high enough because black people still made up that difference we had the highest turnout for democrats especially black women so when people go in my comments and say well this white person did that's fine i'm not saying all white people when it's majority that's not all white people people need to learn how to read before they come in the comments and get easily offended because just because I said it's not all white people doesn't mean, or when I say majority of white people, doesn't mean you get your feelings hurt. I mean, it's very clear that I know that a lot of white people did not, you know, vote, all white people, excuse me, did not vote for Republicans. I know there's a smaller percentage. It's not a high percentage, but it's a smaller percentage. So people need to get out their feelings and cut the bullshit, okay? And if you don't like what I say, you can always pass on by. I always say that all the time and I mean what I say but I'm gonna wrap it up because I know it's short and sweet and I am about to go to bed so you guys have a wonderful night peace out deuces